I wanted to come on here and talk about this Russell Westbrook popcorn situation. But first, before I get into it, shout out to Town Biz because he was one of the first people. As a matter of fact, he was the first person I've seen so far to actually do a video concerning this. And I knew he was going to talk about it because this is something that he's very passionate about when it comes to how there's a lot of mistreatment in sports when it comes to the black athletes, especially when it comes to basketball because of the close access that the fans have to the players opposed to like football and stuff like that. So basically what happened was you had the Washington Wizards who Russell Westbrook plays for versus the Philadelphia 76ers. And they played up in Philly. It was a, it's a playoff game. And Russell Westbrook injured himself. He got um, an ankle injury. So, you know, they had to carry him off the court to help him get off the court. And when he's walking through the tunnel, you can see in the picture right here. And by the way, I did not make this graphic. So no credit goes to me for this graphic right here. But this picture right here shows um, Russell Westbrook uh, literally trying to get through security or the event staff because somebody, when he was walking through the tunnel, took their popcorn and threw it down on him. If you look right here on the floor where my cursor is, that's the popcorn that somebody threw at him as he was walking through the tunnel. And he was trying to go out there to see who it was. Now, mind you, they he couldn't see who it was because it came from above. So, you know, all he all he felt was the, the popcorn fall on him, and he just wanted to go back out there and see and confront or try to confront who it was. But they knew they wasn't going to let him to do, let him do that because, um, you know, he had an injury and they already knew that if he confronted him, unfortunately, they would it would have looked bad on him um, and they would have probably gave him the fine. And when I saw that, it immediately took me back to what was it, 2004? I want to say that was 2004 with the malice at the palace. Everybody who was around during that time knows exactly what that was about. You know, with Ron Artest and Jermaine O'Neal um, during that time. And they didn't want to repeat of that. That oh, man, that will forever be etched in my memory. And it's crazy because that was a topic of discussion the other day before this incident right here with Russell Westbrook occurred. Now, like Town said in his video, there are cameras. So that one of them security cameras that's in there picked up who did it. And I think um, I'm looking at an image right below us. Uh, the one that I'm looking at, and it looks like that could possibly be the person that did it. Now, Town said, um, if this was a uh, a black person who did it, that's really fucked up. But I'm looking at a picture right here of the per of the possible culprit, and that person looks just as palm colored as ever. Hold on, right quick. So if you look right here, this is this. If you look right here, you can tell that this is the person right here. This is the popcorn bag, and this is popcorn falling out of it. So basically what you're trying to say is it looks like this is the person that probably did it because this picture comes up a couple of times. Now, we're not saying that this is the person that did it or they didn't do it. Right now, this is all pretty much alleged. But what we do know for a fact is that Russell Westbrook was disrespected at that game yesterday, and he had that popcorn thrown on him, which was very disrespectful. And what made me even more mad was I was on social media. I was on Twitter because Russell Westbrook was trending. I think it was either Russell Westbrook. I know his name was trending. I think popcorn was trending. And I clicked on it, and you had some people on there trying to make light of this, of, uh, this man having popcorn dumped on his head. And I'm going to echo something that Town said in his video. Popcorn has salt and butter on it. Sometimes the, it may be butter already on it, or sometimes it could come salted, or you add your own butter, whatever the case may be. But a lot of the times, when you, the, the butter is on there. What if that got into his face or got into his eye? Then, you know, then what? People don't take that into consideration. Freak accidents do and can happen. But see, you had PC online and it was mainly PC trying to make light of it. Say, oh, he's making a big deal out of it. He's, uh, you know, taking and blowing this all out of proportion. He needs to be the bigger man and all types of stuff like that. Some of them went as far as to say, I, you know, the thought was there and just uh, left my mind. And I'm mad because that was a good thought that I had. Don't you just hate when that happens? You have a lot of thoughts in your head and then you just forget the main one that you had. But either way, 
it was very disrespectful for that person to throw that on it. But I've always heard about Philly fans. I've heard Philly fans have some of the worst fans ever. I mean, it doesn't surprise me because remember when they won, when the Eagles won the Super Bowl a couple years ago and you had them fans out there literally eating cow shit? I kid you not. People didn't believe it until there was an actual video that went out of some of showing of someone actually doing that right after they had right after they won the Super Bowl that year. And I think that was what back in 2018, 2017. It wasn't that long. <clears throat> Excuse me. It wasn't that long ago. But yeah, that's, you know, the very, you know, disrespectful. But they, of course, tried to make light of it and make it seem like it wasn't a big deal at all. Like, we should just take it on the chin and all things like that. Oh, now I remember what my point was. They even tried to go as far as to try to uh, say that Russell Westbrook faked his injury. Because when he turned back to try to confront the person who dumped the popcorn on him, it didn't look like he was injured. Uh, No. He probably was going through some pain right there. And that's probably why they stopped him. Because they didn't want his ankle to get any worse than what it was. So, they can miss me with that. And I hate that they try to make light of it and saying, oh, it's not a big deal. Of course, a lot of stuff isn't a big deal to them. They are the some of the same ones. These are the same people that would tell us to get over slavery. So there's that. But um, y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. And I'll talk to you in the next one.